The Terre Haute Police Department's latest project is focused solely on the community. News 10's Rachel Law went to find out more about the Community Alliance Program. Rachel's live at the police station to explain how you can take advantage of it. Patrice, this will be an additional task for the five captains on the team. Now, not only this, but this will give opportunities for community members to be able to directly contact someone at the department. But selecting these captains was essential because they know the department, they know the city, uh, they can make it a lot easier. The Terre Haute Police Department's latest program will give the community direct access to an officer. Each captain is in charge of a district. The department hopes it will create a better relationship with the community. Sergeant Justin Sears says the need for this program was clear. They saw issues that would have better been handled if a program like this one had been in place. That's exactly what gave them the idea for it. We had some issues like this pop up in the first couple months of his administration and we recognized that you know we could do a little bit more, make it easier for the community to reach out, put one face with the district so it makes it easier for the community to reach out and talk to one person instead of maybe talking to several or maybe getting several different answers. What they hope to accomplish is more than just community relationships. It's about making it easier for community members and police officers to tackle issues together. Whether it is graffiti or a noise complaint, the Community Alliance program hopes to solve these problems. The Alliance program aims to foster a sense of partnership between law enforcement and the community, promoting transparency, trust, and proactive problem solving. The team plans on hosting community events in the future to get to know local community members more as well. You can find out what district you are a part of and ways to contact your officer on our website at WTHITV.com. For now, I'm live in Terre Haute. Rachel Law, News 10.